Oh, hi. This week, we're unpacking an absolute mountain of vintage clothing I was given. This is a thing that happens when people find out you sew, and it's the best. It's like Christmas every time. I feel so lucky when this happens. Where people that know me will give me their old stuff when they're getting rid of things. Okay, first up is this, I think, handmade number. Now this is not a print that I would seek out, but not only do I think this, this might fit me. There are some details on here. Like the workmanship is incredible. I am absolutely going to utilize in my own sewing. Oh, I, I wish I wish this closed in the back. <laughs> There's impeccable pleating on this and piping and just really well done hand sewing on the facing and the hem. And it looks like they did a bias tape facing on the sleeves or lack thereof, I suppose. I have not seen this before. Maybe this is a standard thing in dresses and I just don't go shopping enough, but it has fairly wide straps, this part right here, but it has these little tabs on the inside I assume to hold like your bra straps in place. Why has this never occurred to me before? And it has a waist tape, which I've never done. And it also looks like this has been hemmed up a couple of times. I love seeing how other people go about altering things. Ooh, okay. And speaking of waistline reinforcements, that point on the back zip, sorry, there's a lot going on here. So I don't know if you can see it very well, but like here's the top of the neckline. Zipper comes down where the waistline is. There's a little tab holding it together. And the fact that it's a lapped zipper and I feel like metal zippers in indicate it's probably older. I feel like everyone uses nylon now, which I also use. Next up is this incredible velvet number. It has a bunch of sheer stuff happening here. It's just screaming breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, and it has a crinoline. Oh, fantastic. Oh, and I think this is horse hair down at the bottom. Don't know if she sewed them. I feel like we would have talked about this at some point in the time I've known her if she had. Or if her mom or someone in the family made them. Oh, I wish this was even close to fitting. Yeah, even my neck is too big for this, but what a design. It's got a very like mermaid shape to it. I am just obsessed with the neckline. Look at this. So bold. Something I never would have thought of also. This is so cool. This is why it feels like Christmas. All right, next up is fantastic polka dot dress. It does have a nice big side zip. So let me see if I can get into this one. Ooh, okay. So there is like a full wrap top situation happening. I can't get the side closed. I am all ribs, <laughs> but it's a nice full skirt. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so good. I think if nothing else, I'm going to take the skirt from this because I think I can get the zipper to close up to my waist. I'll just add a different waistband to it and wear this because, oh, the swoosh the spin, the swirl. It's even got some little pockets. You know, I never tend to fuck with pleating, but this just looks really nice. Ooh, also it has like neckline darts. I don't know if you can see those, but this is the back of the neck. I don't know that I've seen that before. Oh, there's one or two around the front. Very interesting. I need to learn more about darts because this has like the two dart bodice as far as the boob part, but I didn't know neckline was an option. Next up is just stunning. There's no way I'm gonna fit into this. There's a bunch of boning happening in the bodice. Yeah, I can't even get this up over my hips, but coming in from the bottom, I won't be able to get the zipper closed, but I can at least <laughs> pretend from the front, right? Wow, wow, this is like half my circumference, so I'm not giving it its full elegance. <laughs> but oh man, this, is this organza? I don't, I don't know, it's very sheer but looks incredible when it's layered like this. I feel like a little goth flower. And then the skirt has a bunch of layers in this gorgeous trimming. There's a little bit of velvet happening. There's a bunch of layers. And then, oh, that's just legs. This looks so cool. I never think about tiered skirts like this, but damn, does this look nice. Whoever made these was a fucking artiste. Pardon me while I try to get out of this without breaking it more. Like, look at the construction on the inside. Here's the boning, lining pieces, holding all this shit together. This is making me so excited. And also, listen, don't ever give yourself a hard time for not finishing all the seams on the inside. I don't think any of the seams are finished on the inside. All right, next up, we've got some neckline pleating, which again, fucking incredible work. Oh, this is brilliant. So where the zipper is in the back, there's a little bow here and it has snaps that go across. It's hidden on the back side of the bow. So it looks like it's a little accent. Oh yeah, I don't even think I can fit my arm through these armholes. So I don't want to completely destroy this thing by hulking out through it. But I'll try to show it off in its full glory. 
it really is pretty. Like this detailing here is so nice. The ribbon looks a little worn. That's velvet again, but the idea, I love this kind of lace and having an accent color threaded through it. So many details put into these. Ooh, okay, next up, I think this is some kind of wool. Definitely feels very warm and just a really good statement red color. It looks a little orangey on camera because I'm under the worst lighting, but it's the only spot that I can spread out enough to show you all this. But let's see, this one looks like I might be able to squeeze into it. Ooh, that's very high neck. Oh, I don't love that. Oh, it's so nice. What a flattering cut. This, this is very nice. I am going to have to do some pattern studying, I guess, and actually give pleating another chance because it's not something I tend to enjoy doing or seek out. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. This is the coolest. <laughs> I'm nerding out so hard about all of these. Ooh, okay. This one has a lot of damage just from existing for so long. Now, was the hem torn or was this intentional? Something happened to it, maybe? I think it's unintentional that it's like that. This seems to have some original fold lines in it, so it must have been hemmed up at least. But it has this really pretty, like, droopy, cowly thing happening in the front, and I've always wondered how to do that. Like, how do you cut the fabric to get it to drape like this, right? I guess that's what this dress is here to teach me. And honestly, one of my favorite things about sewing is reverse engineering garments that I like, or like, finding out specific elements of it, how it goes together, how this whole ding-dang thing got started in the first place. All right, onto this really pretty, almost paisley-ish. Oh, there's a tag in this one. <gasps> Sue Brett, a junior dress. Ooh, interesting. Also explains why all of these are so small, because I know there's always that trope of like, oh, I can't wear any vintage dresses because it's all the smallest sizes, but these are literally junior sizes. <laughs> Oh wow, so Sue Brett was like a vintage dress person. Also, my assumption was that this was also a handmade one, judging by what everything on the inside looks like. But I suppose sergers were less of a thing and other than a zigzag stitch, what else would they use? Maybe that's why the construction is so exquisite is because it was from an actual like fashion house. Well, that's neat to know a little bit more about where these came from. Hey, oh, Bert just stole a rubber band. Next, this must have been some type of bridesmaid or like prom type dress. There's almost like a reverse pattern to it. Can you see that? It's very cool looking. I don't know that I've seen that on something before. Bert refuses to let me film this video. He hates when I'm standing over here, when I've done like my closet overhauls and stuff, because I just don't think he understands why I'm standing where I'm standing instead of either sitting in the shop or like standing over my ironing board. He knows where his little hub is and I have a dog bed under the tripod and he just will not settle. <laughs> oh yeah, this has horse hair on the bottom as well. I think like a synthetic horse hair, but that's been on my radar for things to try. Oh, I'm scared this is gonna be one of those things that I get it partially over my head and then I'm just trapped inside it forever. Yeah, my arm's not gonna fit through that. Not that I have like hulking biceps, but yeah, that's too tight. We're just gonna try it on like this. Okay. <laughs> Very empire wasted. This feels like one of the sisters from Pride and Prejudice or Bridgerton or something would wear it. Is that Regency? I don't know anything about historical dress, but it's got these little tiny bows down here. There's a lot of structural things happening on the inside. Don't mind my jorts. <laughs> but yeah, there's like a big fluffy under layer happening. Obviously this was worn to some kind of event. It's got some vintage mud on it. And I feel like I don't see this color on a lot of event dresses as if I go to a lot of proms and weddings. I don't know, it just surprised me to see it in this shade. Look at me pretending I know anything about fashion stuff. <laughs> There's only one more after this and I just saw what color it is and it's very good. But first, a fucking stunning overlapping lace layer top. Like look at this. I love this so much. I've Never considered doing this. I have a bunch of lace that I could use for something like this. This must have taken so long to put together. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, again, too, too Hulk smashy in the upper arm area to actually fit through there. But, oh, it's so, I, this feels so pretty. And I like the actual texture of this. It's like nice thick plumage on a bird. I think I, I think I wanna do something like this. What a trip this has been. Yeah, these are from this person's childhood home and dresses that she wore, I think like school age. I'd say like late teens, early 20s perhaps. I had already been working for five or six years when I started at the job I met this woman and I was there for a couple of years and then was at a different job for 10 years and have been out of that job for three years. Yikes. So, <laughs> this is making me feel very old, but 
My general guess on the math of these is that these were like late 60s, early 70s. And I don't know enough about like the style of the decades to know if these look like dresses of the time or not. If y'all want to like try to do some guesswork and help me figure this out, like I am more than happy to be schooled on some of this stuff because I don't know anything about anything <laughs> as far as like clothing eras. But anyway, I'm obsessed with the top happening here and it seems to be more of like a gathered situation here. Maybe like micro pleats, is that a thing? All of these skirts are just so floofy and so fun and there's a lot of linings happening which I need to get better about adding to certain things. And more than anything else, this is giving me ideas for stuff to try that I never would have thought of before and also makes me want to like just continue leveling up my sewing. And yes, I'm stuck in this dress a little bit. And lastly, oh look at this fucking dress. And then, and then, and then. Oh, okay. And we have another tag which says Lucy Perrette. Oh, that's awesome. International Ladies Garment Workers Union Made. I wonder if that's still a thing. I'm gonna have to look into this. Also, this says it's a size 12. We don't need to get into that rant today, but boy, do I have some feelings. Oh my god. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, this also d doesn't come close to fitting me, but I still feel very glamorous in this. And this, okay, so the like, well, it's straight across, so it's not a sweetheart neckline, just strapless neckline, that whatever this cut here is, this with the sheer fabric over it and that continuing, it's maybe one of my favorite design choices on anything. I mean, I have one or two dresses that have this element to it. It's like the single biggest confidence boosting element. I don't know why, I don't know why. Probably cause I do get self-conscious about how like broad and bony everything is right here where this isn't fully covering it. I don't know. I love this look though. Can, can you tell I'm in fucking heaven? And this is what the skirt part looks like. Very fitted. Yes, I still have my shorts on under here, which is probably not helping the shaping, but so ruffly, so fun. Even this little ribbon detail, like it's hand stitched onto the front of it. Ja oh, the care and the work and just the skill and the thought that went into all of this. I, I have no words for how cool this was to go through. I'm trying to be so careful with all of these, even though I think a lot of them have too much damage to like be going on to other homes. Well, I escaped out of the dresses. I didn't break anything, so that's good. I am immediately gonna sit and do some sketches and come up with things that I have in house that I can use to make my own versions of stuff like this. Let's talk about vintage style dresses, elements that you like, maybe things you might wanna see me try, like if there's a certain type of dress, even specific pattern numbers and stuff, let me know. And I, I wanna get better in talking about it more and just kinda like letting my head soak and marinate in that space for a while will be helpful to like keep me excited about working on these types of dresses. And the only reason I get to take the time to research this kind of stuff and do practice runs and just build my skills up is all because of everyone over on my Patreon. It is directly because of your support that I'm able to level up my sewing game and genuinely wouldn't be able to do it without y'all. So thank you so, so much. And thank you everyone for helping me dig through this pile of dresses. This was so much fun. And with that, I'm gonna go throw myself into an internet rabbit hole and I will see you all back here with another video next Friday. Thank you so much for hanging out. Ooh, I'm literally booty trapped.